Hi there. I'm going to read another little critter book today. It's titled, I Was So Sick. It's written by Gina and Mercer Mayer. So uh, let's get going. It's kind of bad to be sick. It's no fun at all, is it? Last night, I woke up with a tummy ache. I called mom. She said I had a fever. Oh, look, he's got a dinosaur poster. And a spaceship. Ooh, an airplane, a grasshopper. Look at all his stuffed animals. Oh, that one's not stuffed, that's his dog. <laughs> There's his spider on his bike. His goldfish, pencil and some paper, a truck, some jacks and a ball. Ooh, boy, that sure hurts when you step on those. I don't know the kids play with those things anymore, do they? She put a cool washcloth on my head and rubbed my tummy. I was so sick. Mom sat beside my bed and held my hand all night. But Mom was getting some Z's in, wasn't she? She was going zzzz. <laughs> Poor Mom. Poor critter. In the morning, I was still sick. I didn't have to go to school, but even that didn't make me happy. I'd rather go to school than be sick. Boy, I know that feeling. I always hated being sick and having to miss work. It's not, it's not that I wanted to go to work so bad. It's that I hated being sick. Oh my, poor critter. Mom says we need to go to the doctor to get some medicine for your tummy. I didn't want to go to the doctor, but I wanted to feel better, so I was brave. Office of Dr. Tusco, CMD. Hmm, Tusco. Look, look at the door knocker. Do you suppose Dr. Tusco is an elephant critter? Let's find out. There were lots of toys at the doctor's office, but I was so sick, I didn't play with any of them. A pretty nurse took us to a room. I sat on a bed covered with paper. Oh, there's the doctor. He is an elephant critter. Then the doctor came in. He had big ears, but he had a nice smile. By the way, did you know that as people get older, their noses and their ears continue to grow? They don't ever stop growing. That's why real old people, they look like they have such big ears and big noses. I'm starting to get that way. Anyway, he had a nice smile. He asked the nurse to take my temperature. I only had a little fever. He put a stick in my mouth and told me to say, ah, I thought that was weird. Then he listened to my heart. He let me listen. It sounded like a drum. He looked into my ears. He let me look into his ears. Then he pushed on my tummy. It didn't even hurt. The doctor gave my mom a prescription for some medicine. He said it would make my tummy as good as new. He shook my hand. You are a very good patient, he said. I got a big red balloon. Wow, that's pretty nice. I think the doctors always used to give us things like suckers, lollipops, you know, that kind of thing. We went to the drugstore to get my medicine. I was so sick. I forgot to ask for a new toy. Oh boy, and they were right there too. Brand new toys, it even says so. Oh, look, who's got the balloon? When we got home, Mob made me take my medicine. Yuck. Then I lay down on the couch to watch cartoons. I went to sleep by accident. <laughs> Uh, sometimes when I lay down on the couch to watch cartoons, I go to sleep too. <laughs> they call my cartoons the news sometimes. <laughs> when I woke up, I started to cry because I had missed my cartoons. But my tummy felt better. The doctor was so smart. Sometimes sleep is the best medicine you can get too. When, doctor, when dad came home, I told him all about the doctor and the pretty nurse. You're such a brave critter, he said. 
Then he read me a story and put me to bed. Hey, I'm reading you a story now. Does that look like a little critter book? Oh, that looks like some of the planets. That looks like Saturn, maybe Jupiter here on the front. Do you know what Saturn and Jupiter are? Dad says, I'll probably be all better tomorrow. Boy, I sure hope so. And that's the end. I sure hope you like that one. I always like these little critter books. As our friend Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Hey, I love you guys. Bye-bye.